Today, students, we are doing part 3 of lesson 4 from the general science textbook for standard 6. Before you watch this video, please watch part 1 and 2. You'll get the link in the description box below. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Now, let's understand what are the first aid measures we can give uh, ourselves. Okay, so what is first aid? Aid means help. First is the immediate help that you give a person whenever a person is, you know, injured. So maybe minor, minor uh, da that accidents that happen. Okay, so what is the first aid that you yourself give can give is, is uh, what is first aid? So, in day-to-day -day life, sometimes we have to face disasters or accidents of varying proportions, isn't it? In our day-to-day -day life, there are small minor accidents that always happen. So, we should know what should we do at such times. On such occasions, it is necessary to give some immediate aid. Aid means help. Some immediate help even before the medical treatment becomes available because that it takes time for the doctor or any other medical team to come and look at the patient. So, before that, we should know how to take care of certain small minor disasters or accidents the first uh, first one can be external bleeding so bleeding that happens it, the blood coming out okay so if a person is bleeding first make him sit or lie down okay so see what is the condition make him sit if he is able to sit make him sit or make him lie down comfortably okay see put him in a comfortable place and keep the bleeding part of the body above the level of the heart so if you see the leg is kept on this chair over here okay so keep the part of the body maybe leg maybe hand maybe any other part so make that person uh, pa that part above the level of the head and clean it with water okay so start cleaning it with water and still if there is uh, you know still bleeding going on maybe it is a um, you know bigger cut or something then call for the doctor immediately okay don't wait for anything a a a anything else to happen so immediately call for the doctor now, let's see what is the first aid we can give in, in case of burns and scalds. Scalds are when somebody has burnt their skin very badly. Okay, so burns can happen uh, two ways. That is minor burns, small burns and serious burns. So, we'll see uh, both of it in detail. Now, the injured part should be washed with water or held under the water. So, wherever the person has burnt, first see that you pour water, wash it with water. Take that person right under the tap of the water, okay, if possible, or pour water, okay. So, anything. Uh, judge for yourself and give the victim water to drink so not only pour water but also give the person who is affected some water to drink then clean the wound using a cotton swab swab of cotton means a ball of cotton okay so clean the wound wound is where the person has burnt and a cotton a swab soaked in antiseptic solution. So, what is your antiseptic solution? Uh, you get this Dettol, you get Savlon and all that and start cleaning with an antiseptic solution. Okay. Do not apply oil, oily ointment. So, anything related to oil. Do not apply any ointment. Ointments are medicines. Okay. So, do not apply any oily ointments and cover the wounds using dry dressing. What is dressing? That is cotton and you know, you get this uh, uh, band-aids and all that. Okay. So, you have to try to do it. Cotton band-aids, huh? not those uh, sticky ones. So, try to cover up the wounds with dry uh, dressings. So, this this is when some minor burns happen. Now, what about serious burns? What happens when there are serious burns? So, give emotional support. That is, support that person. Okay, that person may be very scared of anything. So, give emotional support. Talk to that person. Tell them that, you know, don't worry. Help is on its way. So, talk to that person. Then, cover the wounds with sterilized cloth. Clean cloth. Cloth that is free of germs. So, Cover the wound with sterilized cloth. Then remove jewelry, shoes, etc. 
if easily possible so if that person is wearing any sorts of ornaments or anything try to remove it very carefully and very slowly okay and do not touch or burst the blisters on the skin there will be blisters that is small small boils or you know the skin coming out do not touch it or try to burst it don't do anything to it leave it as it is and do not apply any oily ointment again don't try to apply any medicine on it any type of medicine any type of ointment and do not try to remove the cloth if it is stuck to the burnt skin so if if the burnt skin okay the clothes are stuck to that person's body okay so do not try to pull out the cloth okay leave it as it is and if the patient is conscious that is the patient is still can listen and hear and understand everything so that is called conscious so if the person person is conscious give water to drink but avoid hot drinks like tea or coffee or other stimulating drinks stimulating means any uh, any drink that could you know affect the brain of that person so maybe you know uh, drinks uh, intoxicating drinks so avoid giving all these things and get medical aid at once call the doctor at once okay so see that you don't do anything to that person but make that person calm make that person lie down or sit at a comfortable please and give them water to drink don't apply any ointment don't do anything don't try to pull out the clothes or try to do anything to the blisters wait for the medical team to come and take care of the patient now let's understand sunstroke and what are the remedial measures we can do when a person is affected by sunstroke okay when we work in the sun continuously for a long time the body loses a lot of water and minerals and that is a reason for sunstroke so there are people who work out in the sun or maybe you as a student may go out in the sun on a field trip or maybe playing games outside and in the heat of the sun you have to stand for a long time so Uh, we sweat a lot and so our body loses a lot of water and minerals so we can experience sunstroke okay so what should we do if there is a sunstroke and at for a patient so take the patient to a cool place or in the shade so immediately when the person says that i am you know not feeling well i'm feeling dizzy or you know i'm feeling uncomfortable so take that person to a cool place maybe under a fan or something or maybe under the shade of a tree or shade of a shed or something then sponge the whole body with cold water what is sponge take a sponge or take a cloth dip it in cold water and try to wipe the whole body uh, especially the face the head and all that and wipe the whole body with cold water then place a cloth soaked in cold water on the neck okay it's so a neck of that person so you can follow the pictures that they have given alongside so keep a you know cloth soaked in water dipped in cold water on the neck area of the person then give plenty of water or liquids like sherbets to drink okay so if you have cold drinks with you or a water with you give that person to drink plenty of water tell them person to drink a lot of water so that the body inside also cools down because there is loss loss of water and so the body has heated up it has got dehydrated so when the water is lost from your body it is called dehydration so give a lot of water or you could give cold drink sherbets and all that to that person to drink and if the person patient feels like vomiting make him lie prone prone okay so that is if it feels like vomiting see look at the picture that is given so turn that person so that the person can you know puke out give out whatever is feeling uncomfortable and throw out whatever it wants to vomit out and see that you turn the body in such a way that it the it doesn't go back to its wind pipe or something so you have to take care of all these things that is how do you keep the person lying prone that is on his or her abdomen abdomen is the stomach part with the head turned to one side okay so again look at the picture follow the picture so you turn the head and allow the person to vomit or puke out then give medical help or shift the patient to a hospital so call the doctors call any nurse or call any medical person and take their help or if necessary take that person to a doctor or a hospital immediately without wasting much time now let's learn about what 
should we do in case of snake bite now there are 2000 species of snakes okay there are lots of different varieties of snakes of these only a few like the cobra crates vipers and sea snakes are poisonous so all these 2000 species of snakes are not poisonous only a few are poisonous but we do not know which ones are poisonous and which are not so therefore all snake bites are not fatal fatal means will not cause death so all snake bites cannot cause deaths okay however fear causes several uh, severe psychological shock which can result in death so a person who is bit by snake can get scared okay and may think that yeah i am bit by snake it uh, the poison is going to spread in my body and i'm going to die so that is called a shock that happens to that person and this shock can lead to death so if you come across a snake contact a sap sapra mitra okay sarpa mitra means uh, sarpa sarpa means snake and mitra means friend so there are a lot of people who know about uh, snakes and so they are called sarpa mitras rather than killing the snake at once don't kill the snakes okay so that is against nature so these sarpa mitras know how to con how to how to catch the snakes and they release them back into the forest or release them from where they belong to so do not try to kill the snake it could be it could harm you also so take care not to touch the snake at all and what are the remedial measures if there is a snake bite to anyone what is the action that you are going to take first is wash the wound with water so see that there is there will be a, a small mark over there so try to wash it off with water give emotional support to the patient so talk to that person tell that person that don't worry help is at hand we'll just find out okay about the snake nothing is going to happen to you so give that emotional support to that patient talk to that patient then tie a cloth tightly above the wound very tight if you could look at the picture here there is the snake bite over here so above the wound uh, at the heart level you above okay not below above so you will tie a cloth very very tightly as tightly as possible maybe it may be uncomfortable to that person but don't worry tie it as tightly as possible and get immediate help okay so ask for help the doctor's help or call for sarpa mitras and or any other person elders or anything and take that person immediately to the doctor or a hospital or clinic immediately without wasting time now what happens if you have experience a dog bite in a dog bite there is a risk of infection through the blood okay so because the dog has bit you so infection can spread through blood and hence first aid and medical help are necessary so what is the first aid or medical help you can give so these are the remedial measures these are the measures that you will do wash the wound with a solution of potassium permanganate or other antiseptic antiseptic so you could just visit the medical uh, medical center or any pharmacist and take potassium permanganate and wash the wound or any antiseptic then cover the wound with a clean and dry cloth okay so tie a clean and dry cloth around the wound and get doctor's help and an injection of anti rabies vaccine okay so this vaccine has to be given to that person to immediately so take the doctor's help take that person immediately to the doctor the doctor knows very well what has to be done now let us revise what we have learnt in this chapter a sudden calamity is known as disaster so we just learnt what is a disaster any thing that any event that suddenly happens that is called a disaster and disasters can be man made or natural alertness and immediate action are necessary on such occasion so these disasters occur so suddenly that we have to be very very uh, alert and not only that we have to take immediate action not to delay okay then it can become severe and effective disaster management and use of remedial measures can help reduce the losses so 
every place every city every small town has a disaster management cell so they should work out very very effectively they should plan and implement certain things keep certain things ready so these other remedial measures can help to reduce the loss loss to life loss to property and every person should know about safety precautions and first aid we just learned about certain precautionary measures that you can take as well as the first aid that you can apply or give to the person affected so every person everyone should know about the um, about what safety measures and what uh, first aid you can give to that pe person to check your answers to all the textual questions and for the summary meanings other question answers and for free worksheets visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe